Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at quantum tunneling as a consequence of the uncertainty principle. So let's get started. It starts by saying that the uncertainty principle in terms of energy and time leads to the concept of quantum tunneling. An example of this is in alpha decay, which you would have seen in higher physics. In alpha decay, alpha particles are emitted from heavy nuclei such as uranium-238. Normally, these would be bound inside the heavy nucleus and would need a lot of energy to break the bonds keeping them in place. However, because an alpha particle inside a nucleus has a very well-defined momentum, its position is not so well-defined, and so there is a chance that it could find itself outside the nucleus, even though it does not have enough energy to escape. This is called quantum tunneling because the escaping alpha particle has to dig its way through an energy barrier that it cannot leap over. And we can think about this in terms of energy barriers. So first of all, we're going to look at classical physics and then compare that to quantum physics. So in classical physics, let's say we've got a potential energy barrier here with an electron approaching it. And it says that the electron will be repelled by an electric field if the energy of the electron is below the energy level of the field. So if the electron approaching this potential energy barrier has an energy smaller than the electric field, then it's going to be repelled away and it's not going to get through the energy barrier. So the electron instant on the potential energy barrier is going to be deflected away as shown here. In quantum physics, however, we can use probabilities rather than the well-defined locations or positions of particles and therefore we can consider the electron to be a wave function instead of a particle. So here we have an electron wave function and it says the wave function of the electron hits the electric field but there is a finite probability that it can tunnel through and appear on the other side and you can see that happening over here. So if we considered the electron wave function to have a well-defined momentum but a not so well-defined position then there's a finite probability that it could tunnel through this potential energy barrier. It then says, in this way, a quantum particle can exist in a position that, according to classical physics, it has insufficient energy to occupy, i.e. beyond the energy barrier. Another example of where quantum tunneling takes place is in a scanning tunneling microscope. A particular type of electron microscope, the scanning tunneling microscope, has a small stylus that scans the surface of a specimen. The distance of the stylus from the surface is only about the diameter of an atom. And the way this works is that electrons tunnel across the sample so that the profile of the sample can be determined. So not only do we have alpha decay and scanning tunneling microscopes as being applications, quantum tunneling can also be seen in semiconductors to explain how they work. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.